Hello everyone, welcome back, I'm Mercer Ryan and welcome to Prison Architect. I still don't know what to name the place, I feel like we should have some sort of groovy name for the prison, some sort of, like, slam hole, I don't know, what, what do people call, I mean obviously this is a sort of American prison system, but what do people call prisons in the UK, you know, it, it's all like Her Majesty's Service, isn't it, HMS, um, or oh, Her Majesty's Pleasure, I guess, H I, I don't know what the code is, I should probably look that up, that's, uh, very rubbish thing to not know. But if you remember from last time, um, we were sort of just going through the grants really and we're fleshing out the prison to sort of be able to cope with the various needs and demands that our prisoners have. They seem to be fairly under control at the moment. You can see there's like one or two people have complaints. Freedom. He wants alcohol. I mean, you know where you're getting alcohol. No way you're getting alcohol in this prison. I'm very sorry, but it's just not going to happen. Um, now, I guess what do we shoot with us? Just should we just have a look at the stick? Oh, just get rid of the steam thing quickly. Right, here we go. So what we need to do is we need to look at the grants and we'll kind of go from there. Visitation rights was one that we should do at some point. However, I really wanted to do the here we go, prisoner acclimatization and engagement. This is a really, really good one to do. Um and actually will help us in the long run quite drastically. I think as well. Are there like yeah, here we go. So I got, let's just see this one. If we can get our prisoners working and generally being useful, then that would help massively. Now, the problem is, is that our, our prison is sort of quite, well, it, it's sprawling. It's big now. Um, well, certainly compared to where we started with, we need to be able to plan off uh, a different wing, a different way to go that will sort of help us spread out. And I have a feeling if we go this way to the left here, that would work very well. So if we just sort of plan this out, we need a corridor as we have done in previous things sort of coming this way. I think that's a good place to do it. Um, in order to beat this grant, essentially we need to get prisoners working throughout the prison and it really does help. It, it saves on staff if you have prisoners chipping in and helping where they can. But we need a laundry, uh, we've already got a kitchen and we need a cleaning cupboard. So that's two extra rooms. Um, the laundry and the cleaning cupboard are fairly so, I mean, they don't need to be particularly big, but actually, now thinking about it, the laundry probably should be a relatively big room. The bigger the laundry, um, the better later down the line. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have, let's have the laundry here. Let's make it about that big. And then we can have the cleaning cupboard here. That's fine. Wonderful. Really, you should have this as close to your prisoner cell as possible, but I don't think there's sort of any sort of space that we can do without ripping up a few cells. And I really don't want to rip up cells because if I do that, knowing me, I'll let the prisoners out and that would not be good at all. So this is where the two rooms are going to be. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to have another corridor sort of coming down here. Do you see like this way? So we'll have a door coming in there. Actually, you know, we don't even need doors on this, but um, we'll have a door here and here in the... Uh, laundry and then the cleaning cupboard can sort of come here. I think that's not a bad start. The kitchen, um, the kitchen's fine. I mean, do we want to be able to get to the kitchen? No, I think getting to the kitchen through the canteen is not a bad thing to do at all. Hang on, we're not doing double speed. Double speed it up. Um, I think, I mean, the problem is the kitchen will probably get to the point where it's a little bit too small later down the line. If we start to flesh out on prisoners, it's amazing how um, how filled up the canteen and kitchen get. That is like the number one issue um, for us generally. But these these are the two basic rooms. I think we should probably just, um, hang on, we'll just get rid of this. This is where the door, do we want to? Actually, you know what? We'll probably just have the, this corridor coming from a common room without a door. I think that's probably fine. So, if we jump to foundations, we'll keep on brick for now. That's fine. And then we'll fill in this. There we go. That would do nicely. Now, I'm sure some of you have probably been screaming at me that this storage room doesn't have decent... It's not connected up. Uh, why isn't that? That's because, unfortunately, you need cable all the way to there. There we go. Right. Cable finished. The cable has been finished. Hopefully that will do that. And the... What's happening here? The power station? That seems to be alright at the moment. Might have to buy a capacitor or two. Oh, I don't remember if it is it when it gets to the top or to the bottom and it's really bad. I can't remember which is the really bad one, but I have a feeling that as long as it's in the middle, we'll be all right. Our prisoners doing? Are we are we sort of all relatively happy? We've got Andrew Bromfield, manslaughter, ten years. Doesn't feel like very long for manslaughter. We've got Nash here, Ed Nash. 
So this is five years for multiple crimes and including writing and perjury. Oof. This doesn't sound like a fun dude at all, does he? Um, I, feel, I have a feeling like my visibility in this wing is not as high as it probably should be. Why is that? I thought I had patrols down this bit. Now we've got one patrol there, but not here. So let's just have let's have another patrol. I, I, the thing is, I can't see all of the cells, and that does worry me. There we go. That's a little bit better. Insecure. Oh no, what's happened here? Oh, it's because the foundations have taken the walls down. Oh, I hate when that happens. Right, hang on. We should probably put those in quickly. Luckily, we're in the middle of the night. It's not such a bad thing, but still, that's really annoying. Right, here we go. So the walls are in here. These are done. Those ones, those ones, and those ones. Good. Right. There we go. At least the whole place is now finished. That was a good thing I was looking at that deployment screen. Having them as insecure is probably not a, not a very good logistics. There we go. Everyone's sort of going to this dining cell. There's a lot of screens we should probably be looking at at some point. But at the moment, with only 20 prisoners, we're sort of, we, can, we can run as we want, really. Let's bring the electrical cable down to here. Perfect. Um, and we may as well get started on the actual roomy bit. So we'll have... Should we have regular doors or staff? We should probably have staff doors to both of these rooms because in all of these rooms we've got cleaning products, we've got sort of tools. We don't want the prisoners running off with all the prison stuff. That would not be that would not be good. So we'll put doors, like proper staff doors on these ones. That's fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually deploy guards. Oh, I need to fill in the walls. Hang on. Hang on. Brick walls here. Go. I don't know why those still haven't been put in. I have to say, this this whole foundations thing, I'm really, really poor at it generally. I mean, I seem to, to as you have you seen, in multiple occasions, sort of get rid of the walls accidentally, which is never good. I have a feeling it's because if I'm extending, so if I'm instance, so if I was extending this bit, I shouldn't, I shouldn't put it there. I should actually put it there. I think that's what I should do, I and mean, at least it won't take down the walls. I'll give that a try. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. Um, we shall see. But anyway, we've got two new rooms now, which is good. We should have the laundry. Uh, let's go and see what that one is. Where's, where is the laundry? Where's the cleaning cupboard? I can see that. Where's the laundry? Am I just really dense here? Scream at me. Scream at me. I'll, 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 I'll hear you. Have I just not got a laundry yet? Here it is. You require prison labour. Ah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Well, we haven't researched anything in quite a while, have we? So here we go. Prison labour. The foreman can do that. He'll do that fairly quickly. Um, should I be doing anything else? Armoury. Yes, we will need an armoury a bit later. And also dogs a bit later. These are quite important things to do. Uh, education. We're going to have to do that as well. Um, right. That'll do for now. So here we go. We've got a cleaning cupboard here. Um, we do need to now extend the power cable, seeing as we've put in some walls, which isn't very handy but never mind electrical cables here we go do you see what i mean look all of these tins of biohazard now bleach if the prisoners get hold of that we are in trouble do you know what i mean that that would not be good uh cleaning cupboard so what we're going to do is we are going to assign one guard to the cleaning cupboard and one guard to what will be the laundry because honestly they will steal stuff if i leave the prisoners to it they will steal everything and it will not be fun. It will honestly just, like, people will be pouring bleach down each other's throats, spiking their meals. Ah, oh, it's not going to go well at all. Um, so logistics, prison labour, we're, we're still unlocking that. I think we're not, we're not far off doing that. So we may as well just take another quick look at the next grant, which is probably going to be something to do with education, I would suspect. Um, or visitation rights? We could do visitation rights. Yeah, let's do this. We've already kind of finished this a little bit. We've got TVs, pool tables, fine booth, phone booths, that sort of thing, um, already done. So we're kind of, yeah, look, do you see already here? So we now just, all we need to do is build a visitation room. Now, the trick is we want to build a visitation room somewhere that um, the members of the public can easily get to. And that's actually quite a tricky thing to do. What I might have to do is put it through the holding cell. Actually, that's not a bad idea. The problem is, is that our delivery zone is going to have to get moved. Is it? Unless I put it here. Actually, I could put it here. Right, let's try this. Um, so if I get this as a plan, I want a reception. Oh, hello. 
What's happening here? Where are they? Having a bit of a fight. There's a shower fight. What's happening in here? Get in there. No, you are. Are you? You're not going to help. You're not going to. Not going to do anything. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> these two were just fighting each other. Ah, uh, for God's sake! Right. Why don't we have any? Why don't we have any guards in the shower? Is that not a thing? Am I allowed to do that? No, maybe they won't go into the showers. I've had problems with this before. Oh, look at all that blood I just have here. Terrible. Just blood everywhere. Ugh. Uh, oh well. He's got 24 hours in solitary for his pleasure. I imagine this one will do as well. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just so annoying. Everything is just so nice. So, so happy. And uh, just ruin it, don't they? They just ruin it for it themselves, for each other. Um, this is where the visitation room is going to be. Um, as I said, I want to get to it via the holding cell. The deliveries is probably... We're going to step into that a little bit. But never mind. Um, we don't need the full deliveries, but we'll be okay. Actually, you know what? We'll extend this out just a little bit like that. Do you see? Just so we can have the door... There you go. Like that. So this will be the visitation room, and then we'll have the visitors being able to enter here. As I say, we'll have staff. And it means the prisoners can get in and out quite easily. Oh my god, scissors and mobile phones. What are you doing? Come on. Who are you? Widdly. My own, you widdly. I think this is going to be the perfect place for it. Yeah, you know what? We're going to give it a try. This time we're going to work on the foundations. We're going to do it the other way, so we're not going to fill in the bits we've already got. And we're going to see if that makes a difference. So let's stick these ones in there. And then we'll have objects. We need a, a jail door from the holding cell. Like so. And we'll have a jail door this way as well. So you can only get into the visitation room via jail doors. I think that, that's going to be fine. Now whilst they're building that, here we go. I think we've researched the cleaning cupboard now. So let's just do this again. Uh, laundry. Here we go. The room. Fantastic. I mean, the, the guard is sort of elsewhere. I mean, you seem to be working in the wall. But never mind. I'll, I'll forgive you for now. Uh, objects, laundry, we're going to have to, what, what do we have with you? Laundry machine, laundry baskets and ironing boards. Laundering machines I think are quite important. So we're going to have, we'll have four of these things. They're quite expensive actually, maybe I shouldn't have put four in. I think that was a bad idea. Ironing board, we'll have a few. These are quite cheap. And then laundry baskets, did they say? Laundry bins, here we go. Oh, these are really, these are really quick. Really cheap. Um, from memory, these laundry bins, they get moved about, so they don't need to worry particularly about having those ones, um, sort of anywhere in particular. Right, uh, utilities as well. This one needs to be hooked up to the power, as you might expect. Oh, do you not? Does that not count as powered? No, water. Water is the thing. Right. To get a large pipe in. Um, we'll continue the pipe through the kitchen. Uh, through the canteen. Probably not the safest place to put it, but never mind. And then here we go, like that. And that should hook that up, and we should have a laundry. Fantastic. Um, what I need to do is I need to take a look at my at my day to day. I mean, the problem is, do you see, we've now got we've now got high security prisoners. This isn't great. Um, they have been assaulting each other. They're stoical. I mean, they are not. They're not, they're not very nice people. If I leave these high security guys around the medium security guys, they're just going to get into fights again. I need to start segregating these guys. Um, but we should probably look at our, at our general sort of today list. I mean, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit everywhere at the moment. Um, what is a good thing to do is if, if, if you can, you saw earlier that if we've got everyone in the shower at once, they're just going to have a big fight with each other and it's not going to be, it's not going to be very good really, is it? Like it's not going to work very well. So what I'm going to do is instead of having a shower time as such, here we go, what we'll do is we'll have three times. We'll give them two hours of free time. Now in that, they will probably find the time to, to wash. Does that make sense? We'll lock them up afterwards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the different with maximum security. We're going to give them their free time later. Um, they are going to eat first. And then we're going to lock those guys up. Like so. Uh, yard, we don't want them in the yard at the same time, so what we'll do is we'll kind of give these guys 
two yards there. And then we'll lock them up. And then we'll have the eating with these guys a little later. Just what I'm doing. All I'm doing is I'm trying to just move them about so that no one's in the same place at the same time. Um, free time. You guys can have your free time. You know what? I don't mind giving you guys free time. That's, that's absolutely fine. Uh, free time like that. You know what? I have... Now, you guys can have your free time later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys work time. Here we go. Like that. Um, maximum security. I don't want those guys anywhere near the bleach. Do you know what I mean? We're not going to... We're, we're going to let them... We're going to let them just be locked up while all the others are working. That's going to be true. We'll try this. We'll see if this works. And hang on. We'll have free time here as well. Just a, two bouts of free time for um, people just to be able to stretch their legs and, and have a clean and generally just be a bit happier. Um, the laundry, laundry baskets. Why are these not? Oh, these are bins, that's why. I put the wrong thing in. Laundry, uh, hang on, right. Dismantle objects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Luckily they were very cheap, so that's not going to be an issue. Laundry baskets, these are the ones I want. So hang on, we'll just let the workers jump in and dismantle a few. Yep. Here we go. We'll have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Laundry baskets are done. Very nice indeed. So now that we've done that, we should get everyone working. So um, you can see we've got max jobs. In order to work in the kitchen, unfortunately, we do need to have um, a school to train them. But for the purposes of this uh, grant, they don't actually need to be working in it. So we'll stick to it. But unfortunately, only two people can work in the kitchen. That's not great. I kind of... Um, we need a bit of, uh, well, we need more, really. If I stick another member of staff, if I have another cook in here, will that help? Will that mean that I can have a third? No, unfortunately not. What I will do is I will have all of the all of the prisoners here. We do need one more in the kitchen. Ah, that's a little bit of a problem. We are going to have to, I think, extend the kitchen. Um... Do we just build another kitchen? Should we, should we build another kitchen here? Maybe that's an idea. Maybe that's the only way to do it. Um, we can quickly finish off the visitation room. I know we're sort of bouncing between two jobs at the moment, but sometimes that's the only way to do it. Uh, we'll make this into visitation like such. What's happening here? Come on. What's happening? Why have you, why have you done this? This isn't a thing. Um, shall I just make a wall? Foundation's in progress. Hang on, that's why. Right, if I go control left click, speed up this bit. You know? Finish finish all that. I don't know why that's a problem. Because it's insecure at the moment. It's not cool. Uh, hang on, if I put foundation here and here, let's try and just speed this up a bit. God, it's so noisy, isn't it? Everywhere's just sort of... I don't know what's happening. Right, visitation. What we do need, though, is we need at least three visitor tables in the visitation room. What we'll do is we just zoom in a bit. It'll select. There we go. Visitor table. Um, should we rotate these? We need at least three of them. So, hang on. We'll go one, two, three. Like that. Very nice. And we'll assign a member of staff to this area. Uh, like so. There we go. Our prisoners are sort of... They're being moved about quite a lot at the moment, but I think... In, in, in the sort of grand scale of things, we're okay. What's happening here? What's wrong? Ironing board can't be used. Right, okay, fair enough. That's just one ironing board too many. Right, we'll dismantle you. There we go. I've got rid of you. Uh, laundry? I don't know why this... Uh, like a, not a, a guard should be in all of these rooms, do you know what I mean? Like in storage? I'm going to have to have more guards, I think, unfortunately. But... It's just, um, yeah, most of our guards are actually, <laughs> you know, they're all being used at the moment, unfortunately. Anyway, um, oh, here we go. This is, this is work now. This is better. So what we'll do is we'll have, if I take down this, oh, what's this? Oh, I don't know what's going on. Demolish walls, like that. Planning, I didn't get rid of these planning bits for now. There we go, like that. And then visitation. This is perfect. I just need to spread visitation up, down a little bit, I think. Like so. There we go. We're a bit happier now. 
Yay! We now have a proper visitation room. Now we'll see if that works. We've got our grant. That's, uh, what was it, t another $5,000? Uh, $5, Not bad at all. Uh, all the, all the... There we go. Look, they're actually making nice new stacks of uh, prisoner uniforms. Look at these. Fantastic. Janitors are all putting them in the baskets, delivering them to all the prisoners. Uh, this is how it should be. We've even got more uniforms in reception, just ready to um, ready to roll. Fantastic. You can see here we've got all of our guards on duty. I, I feel like we should have a few spare guards. So I'm going to go two, three, four, five. Our cash flow is at bare minimum at the moment, which isn't great. Um, but we can probably, we can easily expand to take in more prisoners to sort of deal with that um, when we get to it. The last thing we need to do though is, is to get another member of... of well, just to get one more person working in the kitchen. That is a real issue that I can't believe. I can't believe we ran out of space. What I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to build another room in here. And then we'll have um, a door. Where should we stick the door? We'll have another staff door. Here. Yeah. We'll have a second kitchen. We are going to extend this canteen later. I think that's, that's just fine. We'll do that in a bit. Um... Once I've done that, come on, workman. Do your thing. Where's entrance? Is there another hole in the wall here? God, it's so there's just so many just random holes in my in my jail. I, it really isn't very secure, is it? I mean, on the grand scale of things, it's not very good at all. Um, kitchen. Here we go. We'll just have kitchen number two here. Uh, cooker, fridge, and stuff we need here. Cooker. We'll go one, two, three. Fridge as well, we'll have some fridges, where are the fridges, here we go. Um, we take these, one, two, three, and then a sink. Have the sink here, actually this is a well spaced uh, kitchen. I like this, not bad at all. Um, electrical cable to all the cookers, definitely needs to be wired in, so we'll just quickly go this one down to here, I'm ready for it. Uh, pipes as well for the sink, I think I'll need those, so we'll just bring some pipes down here. I'm amazed they can carry these cookers. I mean, look at those. That's crazy. Uh, and here we go. Qualified prisoner zero. Max jobs. Two. One. Two. There we go. Grant complete. We'll, um, we'll finish off the kitchen next time, but that's two more grants done. We're keeping the bag balance nice and high. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll quickly, for next episode, what we'll do is we'll... Uh, I mean, nutrition research, prison manufacturing facilities, produce 30 license plates. That could be quite good. Um, prison re uh, education reform. We do need to start that. And security procedures. That sort of thing's important. And, and really pushing towards cell block B. I think that's going to be the best thing to do. Um, we should start raising our prisoner capacity, if nothing else, to improve our cash flow, which is a little bit diabolical at the moment. So let's do that. We'll have education and we'll build a few more cells uh, next episode. But until then, thank you so much for watching. It's great to have you guys around and I'll see you next time.